Hello everyone and welcome back to this Microsoft Dynamics 365 plugin development course. In this video we will see what is tracing in Dynamics 365 for customer engagement apps. Trace plugin log can write runtime information on plugins using eye tracing service. First you need to enable the tracing. As you can perform these settings on plugin trace login tile. You have to navigate to settings and plugin trace log tile. So I will show you where you can see the trace logs once it has been generated so you have to navigate to settings and under customizations you will have plugin trace log tile so here you will be able to see all the traces that has been captured in your plugin you need to first enable the tracing in your dynamics 365 environment by default those plugin tracings are not enabled so how you can enable those tracing you can enable trace logging feature through the system setting option and in that you will be given three options the first option is off no plugin trace log record will be created even if your code is calling the trace method another option is exception if you select the exception then the trace information is written in the log if an exception is passed back to the platform from the custom code and the last option is all in this case the trace information is written to the log on completion or an exception is passed back to the platform from the custom code. Let us now first see where you can set this uh, tracing feature. Go to settings, administration, system setting, customization and here you can see plugins and customer workflow activity tracing and this option which is saying enable logging to plugin trace log here you can see the three options available now you have selected it off even you are tracing the logs and calling the trace methods in your custom code no logs record will be created let us now see with the help of example so i open my plugins demo project and plugin. what i am doing is first i need to get eye tracing object and now let us say so I'm writing three trace logs one at the very beginning when my execution is completed successfully and the last one in the exception block all right let us now execute that plugin now you can see that uh, enable logging to the plugin trace log is I have selected off I'm going to create an account account number five to navigate to settings and under customizations you will have plugin trace log tile so here you will be able to see all the traces that has been captured in your plugin you need to first enable the tracing in your dynamics 365 environment by default those plugin tracings are not enabled now i'm changing my code and specifically giving the wrong field name so that an exception will occur because this field will not be found and it will throw an error so now i am only logging the exceptions so if i select the exception then only the exception records will be created so so i am trying to create a new record and what it happens is as you can already see that an exception has been raised so now we will see the trace logs in the trace log you can see one record has been created and if you open the trace log you can see the entities account plugin step id you will get so many information and all the exception details are written in the trace log right so it has given you only those details that are raised in the as a part of exception it has not captured either pl entered in plugin nor obviously it's not going to uh, get till this point because at this place itself 
plugin has thrown an exception so it is not going to write this uh, trace but even if we have written the trace at first place the moment at the uh, you enter the plugin and it has only recorded the exception trace simply why because in our settings we have asked dynamics 365 to trace only those exceptions that are those blocks that are raised as a part of exceptions now what i'm doing i'm writing i'm selecting all to trace all exceptions Now I have updated that uh, field name and it is also capturing the required message block entered in plugin and executed successfully. Both the logs are being traced here. So if there are any chances that uh, the plugin runs into an exception, then in that case the exception will also be captured. So I hope uh, now you will be able to understand how the tracing is very helpful whenever you want to debug any plugin. So that is very very important. You first need to enable the tracing from the settings area and then you can decide what option you, uh, you can choose and from where you can see the trace logs file. So that's all about tracing in Dynamics 365. In next video we will see how you can debug plugins on Dynamics 365 on premise version. Hope to see you in next video.